Once you've put in the work to build a chatbot that your users will love, you'll probably want to customize it to match the look and feel of your brand. That's particularly true if it's going to be in a web chat and living on your website. The better the match, the better the fit. So here's how you do it. First, you'll select My Bots. Then select the chatbot that you wish to customize. From there, select Channels. And in this case, we want Web Chat, which is already selected. And here up at the top, we'll select Customize. Now, as you can see, Snatchbot allows you to customize a wide variety of fu functions of your chatbot, both big and small. And thankfully, it's all actually pretty easily. In this top section, you can customize the button, essentially what you'll see that will prompt the users to actually click on a chatbot. You'll often see something like this in the lower right page of websites that provides the, the message that's in your pop-up. You can edit that as well as all sorts of things like the background colors, the close icon, whether you want it to show up as a bubble, rounded. In this case, we'll stick with bubble as that looks best. But as you can see, just in this small part of it, there's a lot that you can do. Next, we move into the actual web chat portion. Now, once again, you can customize the theme, whether it be light or very popular these days, dark, and all sorts of different colors, especially if you want something to match the color of your brand. For example, let's say this background color on the dumbbell is my main brand color. So looking up here, you can choose between the color of hex, HSL, RGB, however you want to manage your colors. So in this case, I want the header in my web chat to match that color. So my RGBs are 0, 175, 240. I'll come down here to header color. I'm going to switch this to RGB. Now, as you can see, we have a match. So the cool thing about this web chat customization is that you're not just doing it in this small area and then clicking back over to a web chat to test it and see how it looks live. When you make changes here, you can automatically see what they look like in an actual web chat. Now that goes for color, as you've seen, but you can also test things like your chat input placeholder. As you can see, when I type something here, we'll pop back up down there. And you can also get in further into things like having your greeting message display and customizing that greeting message. Truly the best way to get to know this aspect of Snatchbot is to navigate to it and try it out. There's so much that you can do, and thankfully, it's all very easy. And that marks the end of this tutorial.